Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. So they say the subsequent fall was inevitable. They never stood a chance. They were risen that way. Innocent victims of their story. Like Romeo and Juliet, it's written in the stars before they even met. That love and fate and a touch of stupidity will rob them of the hope of living happily. The endings are often a little bit gory. I wonder why they didn't just change their story. We're told we have to do it all, but surely sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty. Just because you find that life's not fair, it doesn't mean that you just have to grin and bear it. If you always take it on the chin. As far as I can tell, her godmother, a soothsayer fairy, suddenly a lot was a lot less scary. But what if you haven't got a fairy to fix it? Sometimes you have to make a little bit of mischief. Just because you find that life's not fair. For men, yep. And slip of a boat. There's a tiny revolt. Seed of a war in a creek of a floorboard. A stone can make it. The flap of a wing. The tiniest mite packs the mightiest sting every day. Start with a tick of a clock. All escapes. Start with a click of a lock. If you're stuck in your story, I want you get out. You don't have to cry. You don't have to shout 'cause you're young. So you can do a lot. You must let them sing like little stop you. If you sit around and let them get on top you, won't change a thing. Just because you find that life's not fair, it doesn't mean that you just have to grin and bear it. If you always take it on the chin. Try.